Hey YouTubers, what's going on? This is Entity God. Uh, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, the Green Poison 4.2.1 jailbreak has been released and nobody can seem to download it. Well, I have it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, I currently have my iPad right here. I just recently jailbroke. I'm just going to show you real quick that this is real. It's not some kind of scam or whatever okay okay unlock and this is untethered so let's go ahead and um, show you look I have Cydia there you can't see it because I'm recording off my iPhone but uh, I'm gonna show you real quick that I'm running 4.2.1 and uh, let's go to about right there 4.2.1 and I have folders or I'm sorry, uh, multitasking. I have Installius and it works, works perfectly. Cydia fires right up, and it works great. Let's see, wait for that to load. And there you go. Bam! It's working. Changes loading, and it works great. Everything works great. I haven't had any problems with it. This is what it looks like. Okay. So, you're probably wondering how the hell I did this. See, and I just recently well, downloaded a little something. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Installius works perfect. Works great. Okay, now let's get to the jailbreaking. Okay, I had to use two programs in order for this to work. I used Green, po uh, I used green Poison. Um... What I'm doing right now is I'm actually uploading the mega upload file right now as I record this uh, so that you guys can download it. It's going to take a little while. It's 563 megabytes, but uh, this is going to contain everything in it inside the jailbreak folder. It's going to have the official uh, Green Poison kc5 program i believe that's what it's called and the uh, ipad 4.2.1 uh i put a little something in here uh read me first and the red snow i don't know i guess it's the latest one version 0 0.9.6 rc8 okay what's gonna happen is you're gonna plug in your iphone or ipad or whatever i in this case i use my ipad so i'm just gonna refer the jailbreak uh, to my iPad uh, I ran the green poison program and I followed the instructions and um, I followed that and then once it was done once it was uh, jailbroken once everything was finished um, over here on the iPad I removed it but um, there's going to be an icon here somewhere on your iDevice. It's going to it's going to be green and it's going to say loader. When you open the loader icon, um, for me, it didn't do anything. All it did was it I had a, a white screen and it said um, uh, finding sources or something like that. I, I've been I've been doing a lot of research and it said you know a lot of people are having problems with it. Well, what I and I read somewhere somewhere in the website that uh, you have to jailbreak with green poison and then once that finishes you jailbreak again with red snow and you and all you do with red snow is you just install Cydia so you're gonna have the the green icon you're gonna have the green icon and when you open it it's not gonna do anything if it does something for you and it says install Cydia more power to you go ahead and install it for me it didn't do anything so I closed out um I closed out the the loader and I closed out green poison then from there I opened up red snow and then in here right here on the bottom where it says browse you're going to locate this file the the 4.2.1 for the iPad and you're going to go ahead and select it uh this is basically what you're going to do I'm going to walk you through it um where is this file, this folder at? Oh, crap.
crap it's on my desktop you're gonna go there you're gonna select it there you're gonna hit open and it's gonna say running process whatever blah 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 successfully identified and then you're gonna hit next and it's gonna do the its thing patching kernel whatever It should look like the it should look like this. Install Cydia only, and that's all you want to do. Well, at least for me, that's this is this is what I did. It's gonna say you know continue custom or custom logos, whatever, blah blah blah. All I did was install Cydia, and that's all I used it for. And then you hit next, and obviously you follow the Red Snow jailbreak instructions. Once it finishes, it's gonna say like at the end, it's gonna say uh, that. You are now running an un or you are now running a tethered version. Um, every time you reboot, you're gonna have to plug it in to the computer or whatever. Ignore that. That's that's a bunch of crap uh, because you you already jailbroke with Green Poison and all you did was use Red Snow to install Cydia. So just ignore that. And I'm gonna show you real quick that I am running. An untethered jailbreak just in case you don't believe me or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Like I said, uh, 4.2.1 running Cydia jailbroke. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And this is going to be in real time. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. Get my ugly face out the screen so you don't see who I am. And we are turned off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, here we go. And fire this bad boy up. See, like I said, this is in real time. I'm doing it right now. There you go. Boom. Don't need to boot, nothing. I'm still running Cydia. 4.2.1, jailbreak. Wait for that to start up. Bam, there you go. And my SSH blobs, uh, just, you know, if anybody cares, uh, I have it saved. 3.2.2. 4.2.1 and 4.2 beta beta 3 and there you go it's loading it's loading no problems runs great and there you go guys that's it that's all you have to do uh, the the app sync the app sync for 4.2 it's running because uh, well I have install this install this and like I said it works great so no problems. I haven't found any glitches. No problems, nothing. So all right, just uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and happy jailbreaking.